Here are five passive income ideas that I use to make 100 US dollars per month. We will go over how hard they are to start, how hard is it to make your first 100 US dollars per month, and how hard is it to maintain. We will then use a scale of one to five to test the difficulty of accomplishing these. Stay tuned. Yo, Wagwan Future Millionaires, welcome back to the channel. My name is Demetrius Fearman. The thing is, I make 100 US dollars per month passively. Passive income is the treasure that all of us are after. But what if I tell you that it doesn't exist? When most of us think about passive income, we think about getting money or gaining a reward for a little bit or no work. But the truth is you need some work or some effort to get this reward. But every time I hear the word passive income, I always ask myself, why do we want it so much? And the truth is it's not the monetary gain that we necessarily want, but we want what money gives us and that is freedom. And to me, that is the real answer to what is passive income. It's to maintain our livelihood, to live day in and day out, but at the same time, still have what we long for, which is our own freedom. Living life on our own terms, as Moments by Booth would say. So while going down the YouTube rabbit hole of passive income, I found a YouTuber by the name of Ali Abdal, which he talks about his nine income streams that he used to make $27,000 per week passively. When I watched the video, I found out that I have already been applying some of these ideas, some of these skills, and there are some on the list that I have not done yet, but I am doing them and I'll be slowly checking them off. So out of the nine that he presented, let me share with you five that you can use to gain an extra 100 US dollars per month. First on the list is no shocker when it comes to this channel is investing in stock. With gaining passive income, we have to use two factors. It's either we're going to apply time or we're going to apply money or a mixture of both. The value that we gain from stocks is the result of the money that we invest in that company or business, which in hand makes you a small owner or a shareholder of that business, as we all know it to be an investor. And this is basically the opportunity that the stock market gives you. But if you really want to know more about the stock market, you can just watch my stock market for beginners playlist. Just head on over to the channel, scroll on in playlist, and you'll see that series. To start investing, it's fairly easy because you just need a small cash amount. So I will give this a one out of five as it regards to how hard is it to start. Because all you have to do is find a broker, which is a bank near to you, and ask them what do you need to set up an investing account and then you should be good to go. But how hard is it for you to make 100 USD per month? I have not made 100 US dollars per month from stocks. Yes, when I buy and sell, I do make that money but I'm not talking about that. When I talk about passive income I'm talking about dividends when I'm talking about passive income for stocks. So based off my earnings this year from January to April I made around 5,000 Jamaican dollars per month from the stocks that I currently have that give me dividends. But if you don't want to go the dividend route and you want to count the capital gains then here's a scenario for you. Let's say when Edifocal came out on IPO you bought it for a dollar and you spent a hundred thousand Jamaican dollars. Today that stock is valued at three dollars and forty six cents so that will give you a profit of two hundred and forty six thousand Jamaican dollars and if we were to split that up since the stock has been out for around two months now if you were to split that up for a monthly income you would have a hundred and twenty three thousand Jamaican dollars that's an income right there and that's way more than the hundred US dollars per month so I would give this a rating of 2.5 out of 5 because it's not hard it's just dependent on the person to invest in their knowledge and gain an understanding of the market now how hard is it to actually maintain this and I would give it a grade of 1 out of 5 because it's as hard as the investor makes it if there's an investor who wants to trade every day and look on the charts and read the news every day then they're going to make it hard for them and that's their choice if they want to do that they can do that that's called active trading or active investing. But if you're like me and you just want to read maybe once a week just to catch up on the stocks that you have or any upcoming potential in the market, you may 
go ahead and do so. So it's up to the investors. I'll give it a one out of five for how hard is it to maintain. Number two on this list is going to be start a YouTube channel. So you've probably seen an ad up on this video already that says, my life is a non-stop flex. Yes, we know it's a nine, but guess what? Those are the ads that pay me. YouTube gets paid to show those ads and then in return, YouTube splits that profit with their creators. So how hard is it to start a YouTube channel? So I would give this a one out of five because all you need is a Gmail account. And once you have that Gmail account, you just put in those credentials on YouTube and then there you have it, you have a YouTube channel. And yes, you do need gear to film these YouTube videos, but some of us overcomplicate it because what are you watching this video on right now? Chances are you're watching it on a smartphone and all the smartphones right now have a very good camera and it really doesn't matter the type of camera you use. What really matters is that there is value in the content that you share with your subscribers. Either it's entertainment or educational or just plain foolishness. As long as it's entertaining to your subscribers, then they will watch. The real hard part about YouTube is making money. So if you want to make a hundred US dollars per month from YouTube, here are some requirements. First, your channel has to be monetized. And in order for YouTube to monetize your channel, you have to have a thousand subscribers and then you'll have to have 4,000 hours of watch time, meaning that the amount of time that people watch your channel is supposed to be a sum of 4,000 hours. You know how much movie that? Yeah, do the math, you'll find out. It took me 73 videos to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And when I got monetized that day, I only made 91 cents. In all, it took me a year to get to these requirements. Some channels are extremely fast. They can grow that amount in a couple months. Now to the money part. Last month, I made my first $100 per month on YouTube, and that was a great feeling. So let's say you're serious about YouTube and you want to make a hundred US dollars per month. Well, in my case, I only needed around 19,000 views to make that happen. But this case is special to me because YouTube pays their creators per 1,000 views. So for every 1,000 views that you receive, that is where YouTube will pay you out. And they generally pay you around $2 per 1,000 views. That's the average right there. And that average is the determined by your channel, your demography, your geography, a lot of factors. So it's not set in stone that all creators make the same money. But on general, channels make around two US dollars per 1000 views. So if you wanted to make $100 per month, you would have to get 50,000 views per month to achieve this goal. And this is why I give it a four out of five because if you're not getting a lot of views and if you don't have a popular niche, then it's going to be kind of hard for you. But if you want me to go in depth as to how YouTubers get paid or go over my channel's money, how much did I make from YouTube, then you can just leave it down in the comment section below. Now, how hard is it to maintain a YouTube channel? My reasoning is that I will give it a three out of five. And here is why. Once you make a YouTube video, you'll forever be paid for that video as long as the content is needed and people want to watch it. So if you make a video 10 years ago, it will still make money for you. Yes, that sounds good. That is where the passive income comes into play. But why I give it a three out of five is that if you want the channel to continue to make money and be relevant, you have to continue to make videos. You have to make regular uploads so that people would want to watch your channel and to develop a trust with people so that they can come back to your channel to watch your content because it answers their questions or it entertains them. Number three on this list is going to be selling digital products. So you have probably seen people selling ebooks, website templates, Excel templates, Adobe plugins, and wallpapers like my virgin on YouTube, Chevron Salman. He's a Jamaican YouTuber, tech YouTuber that lives in Canada. You can check him out. But these are the things that we call digital products. You create them once and you can sell them forever as long as people want them. And this is great because if you have any idea how selling physical products go, you would need an inventor. You need some place to store these products. There is no limit to the amount that you can sell because digital products don't need an inventor because you can make copies of them and sell it. All you need is to develop the skill and use platforms like Canva, Adobe, Lightroom, Excel. As long as 
you are proficient at a skill, then you can sell it as a digital product. Therefore, I would give it a two out of five because it's fairly easy to do once you have the skill and you're good at it. Now for the money part, and this is where it gets tricky. How hard is it to make $100 per month? Most of these sellers or creators make money from this because they have an audience. They already have people to market to so that it's easier for them. People would buy their products because they respect them and because they're actually good at what they do. If you're just a regular guy with no following and you want to sell these products, then to differentiate yourself in this competitive area, you're going to have to be really, really, really talented at what you do or you're going to have to use SEO, which is search engine optimization to put your storefront or your product in front of people who are interested in the products that you sell. Therefore, organic purchase is very hard for the person who doesn't have a following. That is why I will give this a four out of five because it's very competitive in this space. Therefore, to make $100 per month will not be so easy. Lastly, how hard is it to maintain? Well, since these products are digital, you would create a template. And once you have that template, you can just drag and drop and update that product. So I would give this a two out of five because maintenance is easy. Number four is making an online course. So recently I took an online course. It was filled with knowledge and it was thoughtful, but knowing me, I couldn't resist calculating how much does this course make. But before we get to that, I must say that to me, it's very hard to make a good course because you have to have that knowledge and you have to spend that time to be proficient in that subject area. Sure, you have a lot of people just making some hurry come up course, which doesn't make any sense. And then just to make a quick book, but people don't learn anything. But the courses that actually sell are courses that teach people things and that people put a lot of work into. And chances are the person creating that course spent a lot of time to learn this information and they just want to present it to people. Not free, of course, because they need to be paid for the time that they spent. So I would give this a rating of three out of five. For the money part now, how hard is it to make 100 US dollars per month? So this course that I'm talking about, I paid 85 US dollars for it. And when I checked how many people were in the class, it was around 40 people in that class. And if you do the maths for the day, that person made 3,400. 400 US dollars. That's a lot of money for me and for you and most of the people who are watching this channel. But it's not that easy for this creator to make this money because there was a lot of time going into developing a community and gaining the trust of his supporters for them to even buy this course from him. So while the money is good, I would give this a three out of five because that person had to build an audience and God knows how long it took for that to happen. Now to maintain this course, I would give it a two out of five because once you make a course on a subject area, a subject area doesn't just get up and change over the course of a month or a course of a year, sometimes even a decade and that kind content is still relevant. And number five is going to be building a service-based business. When you hear the word business, automatically you think that you have to be present because how can a business actually be passive? Well, you're not entirely wrong. Businesses do need their owner's initial input, but that business can be automated if done properly. Think of a business that builds website as a service and they work hard to get five clients. They make those website for those five clients. Afterwards, they retain those clients to manage their websites, to maintain their websites. As the business owner, you may probably need to have meetings with these clients maybe once a week just to update them on the services that you provide. And then you can have your manager handle the overall business and you just check in with that manager once a week. Therefore, automating the business. Yes, this is an ideal world, but it is possible. So to start a service-based business, I will give it a four out of five because you have to be proficient in that skill. You have to learn it and then you'd have to teach it to your employees or maybe get even employees who are better than you at that skill. To make $100 per month, I would give this a two out of five because chances are with a service-based business, you may only need one client to surpass this. People will pay money for a service. 
as long as it provides them with benefits such as making their life easier or their businesses more efficient. You spend that time and learn the skill, you can charge whatever you want. Plus, if you have the A plus customer service, then the money will just reach in. Not so bad, right? Yes, it may take time to get your first client and you have to do a lot of marketing, but chances are once you get that one client, you can easily clear a hundred US dollars per month. As it pertains to maintaining a service-based business, I will give it a three out of five because this depends on the service that you provide, its reliability, its automation, and its efficiency. While I only do two of these passive income ideas, I can safely say that with the stocks that I have invested and my YouTube channel, I have easily cleared 100 US dollars per month. And if I'm to be a little bit honest and do some calculation, it will be a lot closer to 200 US dollars passively. And yes, this is small, but my plan is to continue to implement more of these ideas to grow myself and become proficient at gaining more passive income. And I mean, I'm glad I have you future millionaires on this channel to hold me accountable because this is the reason that I created this channel. I created this channel as a medium for people to feel inspired and to hold other people accountable to accomplish their goals. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. And if you haven't done so, as yet ring that notification bell i mean what are you doing ring it so that you can know when content like this come out you can be first to watch it until next time happy investing